Today on Internet Marketing Pro, do you want to go viral? Well, four ways to get viewers to share your videos. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Mishlu Consulting, has over 30 years' experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return filing, I personally recommend you to contact Jeffrey Ressler, CPA, at 561 237 5264. That number again is 561 561- Two three seven five two six four, and you can visit his website at jrcpa.net. That is jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Deckard sent you from this podcast to receive his special rate for listening to this show. Thank you very much. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning. Good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning in to my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a quick few announcements before we get started. As you know, I have changed the format of this show to three times a week. So now I will be releasing a show on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So three times the content. And I'm really excited about this. And I really do appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. What a difference it's making in motivating me to put these shows out and even more now. And I love to continually think about the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all, but it's also great to hear from you all by posting ideas and questions and things like that that you would like to uh, for me to answer for you. Here's your chance to get some free consulting uh, by asking a question, and I can answer it right here, right over the show. So take advantage of this. Um, not very many people will do this, and I'll be glad to do this because... You know, I just want to give back as much as I possibly can. And I'm also really excited about you all helping me get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social network. You know, my weekly listener base is growing a great deal week after week. And that's the greatest payoff that my listeners can do for me by giving back my for my time and efforts and putting into this show. So if you like my show and you find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post it, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and supports. Now I've got one last announcement, and that would be I'm also looking for new show sponsors. And what I mean by that is that either at the beginning of the program, I can leave a 30 to 60 second spot where I introduce your company and your services before the show gets started. I also will put your link and information within the description of the video or audio as it's syndicated throughout iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, most social networks, Zoom, uh, Lipson, uh, Blueberry, and Stitcher Radio, and then some, and so much more. So it's a great way of being able to get the word out very inexpensively for your business. Uh, we do have over 40,000 downloads a month currently, so you will get a lot of exposure. And if you want to go even further than that, I could actually record a show where I interview you and discuss a whole 20 to 30 minutes all about you and your business and services. So feel free to contact me and visit my website, chaddeckard.com, and contact me about your interest in uh, either being a sponsor or having a show uh, produced for you and syndicated. All right, let's get down to the show. So today we are going to discuss about going viral, four ways to get viewers to share your videos. And I'm going to do more on viral marketing in the future because I've had a lot of people who ask questions about viral marketing with me. And I'm just going to make this really short program of um, these four ways to get viewers. And, you know, do you ever wonder what it takes for a video to net millions of views? Well, you can stop wondering. Adver- the advertising publication Ad Age recently released its first ever video viral awards. And it's a contest looking for the biggest tearjerker ad and the funniest video ad. And the respective winners were Expedia's 
Find Your Understanding, a video depicting a father traveling to his lesbian daughter's wedding in Licklid Palmer's Double Impact, a plumber video full of innuendos. So, uh, they're really strange, you know, and I think that the more strange and more weird a video is, the more probability that it has to go viral. While these are huge companies pouring resources into production, videos don't go viral based on a budget, but rather on the content. Take, for example, the famous Will It Bend or Blend videos. Um, they were put on by a company called Blendtec. The videos show the strength of the appliance by blending items like iPads, golf balls, and rake handles. The first video put out by Blendtec, one depicting marbles getting crushed, garnered more than 6,000 hits, and it reportedly only cost them $50 to create. The company has now produced a number of videos with the most successful one nabbing more than 15 million views. Wow, that's incredible. And you'd think, like, who would ever want to watch a blender uh, chew and grind up all kinds of different items. But I guess that's kind of going back to the old uh, David Letterman's late night when he used to throw stuff off the, uh, the the balcony or the top of the building and just see how it splattered or hit the ground. So I guess we love to see destruction and really cool stuff like that. I guess we'll never grow up. But anyway, number one, sharing is a two-way street. If you want others to share and talk about what you've produced, one of the best ways to get the ball rolling is by being a sharer yourself. Even big influencers want to see more people sharing their content. And if you share consistently, you're likely to give some reciprocal sharing in return. When you're sharing others' content, be creative and put some thought into it. Especially if you're hoping to get someone with a lot of followers to share yours. Don't just put a link to their video or upload it. Add a little bit of context or tell it how it was beneficial to you or will benefit your audience. You're much more likely to get noticed this way and you might even develop a mentoring relationship with a seasoned entrepreneur or influencer. Number two, you better ask nicely. As with everything, you can't expect to get what you want without asking for it first. It's important to ask the right people in the right way Mm, well, I'd say uh, like a well, like a blanket. Um, hey, will you share my post? Blast that out to your social networks. Probably won't see a lot of results. Instead, ask specific people and tell them how it will benefit them if they do. Does the video you shoot contain information that's valuable to their audience? And um, I wonder if that's the kind of content that would benefit. Uh, the person who is going to share it and the people that they know that are in their social networks. So remember that also people love to be the first ones that kind of have the information, like they are the go-to source and they can post the night, the, the, the latest, coolest things because they're so hip. And that's just a, a social pressure. So take advantage of that, you know, and, and, and use that to ask people nicely, especially influencers and people with large social networks, if they will repost, retweet the content that you're putting out. And in exchange, you'll be glad to uh, do the same for them from whatever they want you to. Number three, create strategic alliances. Chances are good that there are other young entrepreneurs out there that will share a target audience, but don't compete with you. So build relationships with these people to get in front of their community while introducing them to yours. It's a great way to help each other find success and it just might result in a lasting friendship. And number four, reach out to the pros. Bloggers and journalists are always looking for intriguing content to share with their viewers. If your video would be a good fit for their core audience, reach out to them. Just keep in mind that these people get a lot of pitches every day, so keep things short, simple, and relevant right to the point. And tell them the benefit, 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 not only for them, but also for their readers. And, and if you can do that, express yourself very clearly and concisely, you should have no problem going out there and be able to get your video to go viral. And you know what? If you're also making and creating the video, put in the, um, the request uh, for people to repost, retweet, or share with their social networks, just like I do in my video and what I do in this description. That way it can keep propagating itself without you having to tell other people to do it in the description and link it. So uh, that helps a great deal as well.
So, that's about it for this show. I appreciate you tuning in, and we will have another show for you in just two days. Take care now. Bye-bye.